up guys welcome back to another episode of satisfactory let's play series update 6 uh as you can see from where i'm standing i did a bit of changes off camera well i wouldn't say off camera it was on live stream right after episode was that episode 16 i think right after the last episode came out i did a live stream on twitch yeah, I ran around doing some optimizations and stuff with the oil production and some aesthetic stuff on some of the bases. Uh, as you can see here, just a quick update. Uh, we now switched all our vehicles off, the, off of the petroleum chunks. We had them running on last episode because we needed to unlock something else to switch them to fuel. So we switch some of the petroleum chunks and they're now on um, actual fuel which is produced from the oil. So now as you can see I have plastic coming down here to make the fuel canisters which is then filled by those three um, packaging stations and sent into a storage crate and then fed to all the um, truck stations in the area. And yeah, I have a container here with a bunch of fuel. Two industrial tanks. And two normal ones. So what I did, now I have the um, fuel coming from where the oil started. So the oil is turned into fuel which leaves a byproduct of resin which is then used to create plastic and rubber. So the fuel is coming from the oil and not from the byproduct of the um, plastic and rubber. As you can see, we have abundance of fuel right now. All the truck stations are being fed. All the trucks have been switched to fuel. I did also a bit of aesthetic stuff down here on the steel building. It's now fully enclosed as it stores the back expansion that we made last episode. It's also enclosed and has a roof on it. I have started in front here. Once I while I run through the minefield. Right, I have started putting in the wall conveyors in front here. Now all the conveyors in the front are going through holes in the walls and not clipping through the walls anymore. And yeah, this is a fuel line splitting off to give the coal truck fuel, then going through the wall there and supplying these two trucks with fuel. I also, I think I did this on stream too. I also added another concrete supplier for the industrial seal beams. Uh, didn't know it had another limestone deposit right in the back here next to the extension. Uh, this is the extension we made last episode. It's now covered as a roof on it. I decided to go over the um, ramp where the truck is. Now I have a gate that opens here. Right, uh, this episode we'll be focusing on, we'll be heading back into the, into the quartz production this episode, where we'd be, um, getting the, I forgot what you call those stuff, this last thing we need in order to get the explorer. So here's the heavy modular frames that we started making last episode. I did upgrade the screw line between episodes to a tier 3. So now all it's normally waiting on is... Oh, it's waiting on an industrial key. That's interesting. Which is waiting on the steel beam. So we may have to optimize the steel a little bit more. So that we have more steel beams coming upstairs here. But I'll probably do that on the next live stream, which would be the same day this video is released. 
I should have a live stream where I add some more production to the steel. Uh, which one is going upstairs to that? I think it's this one. I know it's the middle one. So what's the issue with this one? It's not getting enough, um... Teal. This one is because it's upgraded. It's overclocked once. I may have to overclock this, the middle production. Alright, so let's get back on track on what we set the goal for today. So we need manufacturers. I think I'd go with two. It's not this. I'm gonna go with two manufacturers. Also, I did, uh, as you can see on the top there, I did add uh, the modern uh, engines to the space elevator. I actually set that up automated because I had everything right next to the space elevator, so I just quickly set it up. It uses um, smart plating, so now the smart plating has somewhere to go. Use a smart plating, uh, was it smart plating motors, which is right next to the smart plating factory, and uh, rubber, which is also right next to the smart plating factory. So everything was in the right in that area. So I decided to just uh, make a simple build and fit. If you can see right where my cursor is, there, that little small, that small little whatever. That building right there below the space elevator is what's creating the um the modern engines for the phase three research on the space elevator. The rubber is obviously created right there. Motors is the top floor of this building, the copper tower, and smart plating is this building across here. So might as well start that up. It's really easy. I just had that running um probably next episode we'll be seeing if we can get the uh the last thing for the space elevator automated all right so we're gonna set up the floors here for this i said i was gonna get two uh plastic is right there i can get that easily Unless I see what I just saw. Why do we have a lack of plastic on the line? Did we run out of plastic? Oh, 
Also, I did notice that the um the production. Maybe they actually run out of plastic. Oh, we're not producing it fast enough. Uh, okay. In order to get more plastic, I may have to do a bit more of refining of the oil. Which is a, a simple task, if I can get over this pipe. Might actually add another one. Ooh, I'm out of our motors. Interesting. Just run, get some motors, see if you can get plastic back. Uh, to the way it's producing. Right now, the reason why it's not producing as much plastic is because of the lack of resin which we switched over on the live stream. And the fact that it's split in the plastic between two uh, stuff. How much do I need for that? And so let me make sure I have 20 on me. So I need to keep 10 on me for the, um, the ma two manufacturers that we needed. That we need for the, ow. <laughs> Check on power because I think we may have. Yeah, we're kind of tapping into our reserved power, so we may have to adjust and go see about some power issues. We'll be back on top producing plastic. Oh, this is gonna take forever. 
Um, I think the one up here should may have used all its plastic already. God damn it. Alright, I guess we'll have to leave that to go for a while. Um, and you can craft plastic by hand. Unless you package the oil, which I am not currently doing. And the waiting is in order to package oil, you need plastic. So that makes no sense. Uh, let's run down by the power station and see what we can do down there. As you can see, the next milestone I have set is the um, power. We're gonna set up um, fuel power. It's gonna take a while to get that milestone, but yeah. Yeah, so it's getting all the um, resin it needs. The shot is gonna take a while to um, build back up. Is this one here is running all the way to the circuit board area? And let's see what we can go do for power. Um, I think I'm just gonna add another power station. Yeah, we can craft one. We do have space for one more power, coal power station. We can add one and we'll see if that helps. That should help because we're not really that much over the power capacity we have right now and we have a backup that's why the factory is still running we do have backup um power storage down there that's a good thing i put that in i think i installed a power storage um a couple of streams ago actually did that on a live stream i think if i remember right Alright, so we're down here back at our cool power station. That's um yeah, those are the two power storage as you can see we are using them at the moment so Sticks.
now we are um, producing enough power. Somewhat enough. I'd have to add another one. Interesting. Pretty interesting. We do have enough for another one, so that's all that. I think we have enough water to s so I'm supply the two new ones because that pipeline should be able to supply at least four. I would be aiming to switch, well, not to really switch, but to supplement the coal power. Um, plants with the um, fuel power plants, so I would still have the coal power station while I slowly add um, the power. Uh, to put a spot on this water line here. There you go. I don't mind if it clips like that. It doesn't really bother me that much. Now we're gonna pull from this one. power up a little again which means the battery is gonna charge it still has some moments when we go over the power limit still have a lot of room for improvement on the power generation right now there we go we fixed the power issues for now we gotta keep our eye on it because while we add stuff we may run into some more issues uh so as of now we have 10 as of now we have 14 coal power plants power in our um whole factory it's just pulling from three separate um water pipelines Right, now that that's stable, let's, um, stable for now at least. Let's run to the... Need to get cables. And, um... Cables and, um, plastic. Hmm. Honestly, I really want to actually get this up and running for this episode. We had like a couple episodes. If I did not do uh, those live streams, we'd probably have like five or six filler episodes before we got to this point. There's cables. Uh, right now we're just waiting on plastics. 
this barely has any plastic, so. Does it? It's. Oh. Why is that taking so long for the plastic to reach? Do we have a. Uh, somewhat of a drop in the plastic production? By the way, this is the building that's producing the. Um, motors. Not the motors, the. Um, modern. engines. Just going to the space elevator. So we have four um, refineries taking the oil and turning the oil into fuel and um, resin. And the resin is turned into plastic and rubber. But for some reason, we are lacking on plastic. For some reason, we're lacking on plastic, yeah. I think what I would, would do is, as we're not using rubber as abundant as plastic right now, I may actually switch one of the rubber production stations. Are we using rubber as abundant? Let's see. Still have a good bit of rubber in here. We are using rubber that much. Because the only thing we're using rubber for is the, um, the engines for the space elevator so I may actually switch Alright, let's run across to where we have to set up the stuff. Oh. Uh, we may have a water issue. Oh my god, this episode was to be an episode where we... This episode was supposed to be an episode where we get more advanced in the quartz production in order to get the explorer buggy, but no, the infamous power issues is killing us right now. <laughs> the hell, man? Oh my god. I think this time it's a water issue, because, um... To supply the amount of, uh... To supply the amount of water I need for those four, those extra two, I would need an extra water extract on that pipeline. And I don't have an extra water extract on that pipeline, so I think that's what's going on down there. Because, from my perspective... Uh, and from the calculation that I did while we was having a major power issue previously it takes at least for four extractors it, you need at least two for four um, power plants you need at least two that's the ratio for the coal power plants to water extractors so you need at least two water extractors every four power plants. Every power plant needs a, a half of an extractor. 
have to put it that way. So on the lines that I have five extractors, five on power plants, I have two extractors on those, which is enough to. Wait, I just actually confirmed the maths in my head. Yes, that, that's how it should work. Because each extractor does 120. If a power plant takes 50, then an extractor can supply two power plants and have enough to supply one, maybe one after, barely supply one. So by having two extractors that adds up to, uh, let's see, 240, which can supply four power plants stable and have 40 to supply the other extra power plants, which makes it that it can supply five power plants. Yes, that's how it's done. So I need another water extractor on this line here. Uh, I can get this water extract to power up. I doubt I would. Can't afford any me. It's also not deep enough any me. God damn. So I think what I have to do here, guys, is I may have to... I do have a... Uh, oh my god, is there any water anywhere around here? Other than that one. I know there's water down by the um, quartz. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And by the oil. There's water by the oil, obviously. It's like a whole friggin' ocean, by the way. And I think we have enough pipeline stuff on us to actually pull water from down here. Okay, no, that's the abyss. <laughs> Do not hit me off the cliff, you son of a bitch. Jeez. He's still following me. Okay, you're pissing me off right now. That's yours. Bye bye. Boom. Yes, as I was saying, we do have waters across by the oil. So what I think this episode is going to switch to be the focus is getting water and power stable enough so that we can, oh my god, so that we can do the quartz production next episode. I'd also do a live stream uh, 7 p.m. EST from this videos. When you guys see this video around 7 p.m. that same day, I'd do a live stream on Twitch where I get the power as stable as we can oh by the way that you're hearing in the background is another factor that i found out recently whoop that's the abyss the uh the hogs and the fire spitters I don't know about the flies, but I know the hogs and the fire spitters can get damaged from the poison. Uh, and apparently, Mr. Spider here, hello. Apparently, spiders do attack the um, their competition. 
Apparently. It was the last live stream I did of Satisfactory. I saw a spider kill a uh, fire spitter for whatever reason. I have no idea. Apparently that's a thing. The spiders are aggressive to the other creatures. Uh, can I jump down here? Or is this another abyss? It's another abyss. Wait. And really this is the part where that I took the last time. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Oof. If I only fell in that gap, I would have been so pissed. Anyway. I could have took the easy way to get to the oil, but I don't know why I took the hardest way possible. Like this is the hard way to get to the oil. I think that the, if you guys missed that live stream, I think this is the part where I actually first initially took when I was looking for oil. You, one of you guys. I don't know where I was running going. Oh my god, why there is so much of you guys? Missed. That's yours. Bye bye. Yes, I love explosives. I have so much friggin' explosives on me. Uh, yeah, this, uh, exploration kind of session was actually to go get water for the power plant. Uh, which is right down here. I'm not gonna jump down there. We would have to run it. Uh, ba 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 ba. I have not processed or mentally calculated how we're going to run this water line. As of thinking right now, we have three sets of water sources. We have the big ocean air oil. We have the one that's down by the um, fuel production, which we are kind of using. Then we have the one that's off the cliff now bees which is supplying the 10 10 of the um which is actually full so we can't use that uh so right now this is a bit of a far-fetched water source But we could use this as a water source for the extra set of power. Uh, how are we gonna do this? I have no idea. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm gonna get into a bit of a build montage here with me trying to set up uh, another water supply for the base. Uh, where is it? I guess finally the classic pill montage. I'm gonna with two. What the frick? Oh my god. Are you freaking kidding me? Really? So I just noticed I did not come with what I need for the water extractor anyway. God damn it. Um, do I have... What freaking hell, man. Really? I can't even make a vehicle? Jeez, man. 
came out here very unprepared. Let's go find that water source. We have it marked now, so we're not gonna get lost. I think it's the same water source we were just now. Oh my god. This episode is gonna be a pain in the butt to freaking edit. I've been recording for probably almost two hours now, so yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a, a pain in the butt to edit. Oh my god, that's poison! That's poison, poison, poison. Should be able to get through that. Oh, there's a curse, but. Not to make the wrongs. Uh. Yeah, 
letters. I guess we already got water from this river back up to the Where are you? We could put the... Interesting. There's a cave here. Where's the other one? There he is. There's more? Let's see, is the water extractor is deep enough? Water is not deep there. Okay, so we definitely can't put it going up that hill. We have a big spot here with water. Let's uh, run it and get it up that hill. Need a bunch of pumps though. So. Sweet. Uh, I need to mark the... Then. So I know what that is. I need a bunch of pumps on that line there. can see the whole mine across there so we just need to get over this so here we go we'll have to run the pipeline and the pipeline the um, power line Easier than I thought. 
Who's the guy about to leave me alone? You can just run it here and run it down this patch. So, mind if I place this here? Thank you. Now, that's better here, but they turn it to that. Oh, hello, found me. Bye bye. Now that we did that, we can now take a fight power. the power come to the new extractors so um next episode guys we would be finally should be able to set up the second stage of quartz production uh, I still would do the live stream this uh, this evening as of the video to um, do a bit more optimization on the power and uh, see what the problem is with the oil. I think we're full on fuel, ironically. those extractors up and running we can start checking the line for the water flow pumps Yeah. Am I really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I got to run back to the um. Yes. I just ran out of um copper plates ironically all right guys hope you guys enjoyed the episode uh This episode was supposed to be focused on getting the second stage of quartz production done, but unfortunately, we ran into some issues with the 
power. And now we have to um, adjust that. So I already set up the stuff for the power. We just have to that done. Once that um, stuff for the power is set up. I'd probably do that on live stream. Once that's set up, we would most likely for next episode we should be ready for the second stage of quartz production. We might actually unlock the explorer next episode because we do potentially have everything up and running and ready for the explorer. Yeah, we might actually unlock that next episode. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the episode so far. Series so far. If you guys want to see more, drop a like or that subscribe. Click on the bell icon. And notified when I release videos. Satisfactory videos are released every Saturdays. Uh, Pre-recorded on Tuesdays. Once I have the free schedule to record it on Tuesdays. Uh, patrons get access to it on Tuesdays also once I have the schedule or the time what the or the space time the time to actually record the episode because sometimes I'm uh, a bit busy or not feeling well why are you up in my pot? So yeah, by next episode that should be done. Anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.